不在のロンドンを守ってがっつり目立ってサーベルズに昇進するんだから魔導に乱れず砕け散れブリーチブレイブソウルズ Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is your boy the Deathmasher, and welcome back to yet another Bleach Brave Souls video. And shout outs to Caleb for completely f over the actual max transcended level indicator. Like, what is this purple flame that is so small on her that it just. It's just so out of place with the green text. Like, look at how ugly it is. Thank you, Caleb. Thank you, because I wanted to showcase her with the purple level. Not like this. Thank you, Caleb. But, anyways, I'm here with a max transcended showcase on Nini Spankle from Burn the Witch, because I did 30 steps on the Burn the Witch banner. And I got three more copies of her. And yeah, from two out of five, got her five five. And I'm not gonna lie. This was the best thing that I could have gotten since I didn't pull、uh, Noel and alongside getting three copies of Bruno. So, this is actually pretty good for me. And I think that Nini, once again, is actually pretty good. And now that I have her max transcended, it's even better. Anyways, short recap of the character she's a no affiliation unit with the no affiliation and a ronker killer skill. So, pretty good. And also has strong attack reach this time of minus 14%. So, at worst, if you don't like her, she's a very insanely good link. And、uh, yeah. She has no status elements on her entire kit, but she has really good skills such as having 40% Bruiser, 60% Berserker, Devastation at 60, and being able to nullify ranged resistance at 100%. Very good because this means that you can use her in two weeks of Guild Quest, being melee and ranged a Ronker week, and you can use her in No Affiliation week, which is actually. Pretty damn good. Havoc at 20%, Frenzy plus one, Weakened Defense, and Sprinter plus one. Now, the unfortunate thing is that this character does not have Guard Break. If she had Guard Break, then it would have been pretty damn good, but she is okay as is, and her kit unfortunately isn't really the best, but she has a very strong SA1 that works out stupidly damn well in IT. But, anyways, we're gonna be doing、uh, two builds on the character, being the、uh, Hybrid Reacher slash Strong Attack Damage build. And then the s i n k a i z e n build, but starting it off with the s i n k a i z e n build because that's what we're always gonna do first. So let's get into it, boys. s i n k a i z e n build, here we are. Obviously, triple s i n k a i z e n Eisen's, pretty much what you would expect. c a t a c r o n Alpha, Pill, and Bay, all with 30% SP. Oh, yeah, she's T20 as well with full stamina damage boost and weakened defense. I forgot to clarify that, but I'm pretty sure that if you guys have read the title, then you would already know that this is a max strength and a T20 character showcase. But going back on topic, Uh, I now have her Berserker buffed up to 140% while having the full stamina damage boost increased at a very good 85%. So, still pretty good. So, very damn good. And in terms of overall spiritual pressure, we do actually get ourselves. Hold on. 4223. Very good. So, we are almost at the 5k spiritual pressure. I'd have more. If I actually had the Kamari for、uh, tech, which unfortunately I don't have it. I still don't have any type of Kamari whatsoever, so hopefully in the future I do actually pull one. But going back on topic, we're also going to be bringing with us the c a n f a r e Road Halibel, who is actually going to help buff Nini's、uh, overall、uh, damage that she can do with her strong attacks, since she does buff the focus by a good 33%. So. Because she's max transcended, T20 at that, with the overall、uh, best accessories, best links that we can possibly give her, she's definitely gonna be doing a lot better. So let's get it. Anyways, here we are in IZ. Now let's see the overall damage that we can do. Unfortunately, we don't have any o r o n k e r s as the enemy, so we'll only showcase her with this type of particular setup, with this type of damage, but she'll still do enough damage regardless to the point that she's gonna one shot. SA1. 25k, very good. Overall, insanely good. SA2, 8k. It is the same SA2 as Hikone and Tokinata, where she just basically pulls in and pushes back. And of course, the SA3 did around 27k 
Now, the thing that I don't like too much about Nini is her kit because it's not really the best. The SA1 is the 40% mag shave attack, but it is renewed, so it's not the same type of strong attack that you would expect from like Thousand Year Blower. Ooh, you say no, okay, so like it's still gonna be good for killing mobs and it's just overall an insanely good strong attack to use for IT. And honestly, the real issue is literally from her second strong attack because of the fact that. The second Tron attack already is a pushback vortex that she does. And then you have an insane cooldown of 20 seconds. That is mainly the main issue that holds her back, aside from missing guard break. But anyways, now let's just boost up with Halibel and see the best overall damage. Now the SA2. 10k, just like that. SA1, 30k. And the SA3 did 31k. So, yeah. And this is all without killer. Do keep that into consideration because we are still going to be hitting very freaking hard. And we'll definitely do a lot better when we move on to the next build being the hybrid recharge uh, slash strong attack damage build. So, very good. Not that bad at all. Like, you're still going to be able to uh, one shot the mobs even if Nini doesn't have killer. And there we go. I can just one shot with the special just like that like as if it were nothing. Anyways, let us move on to the next build, being the hybrid research slash raw attack damage build. So let's get into it. All right, lads, here we are in uh, co-op IC. So shout out to my boy Uzume for coming in to help out with the showcase <laughs> since this was recorded on stream. But um, uh, going back on the topic, my Nini has the exact same accessories as last time, but the links, of course, are hybrid links where we have Dark Rukia, Full bring Ichigo and Stark setup right here. My full bring Ichigo is max transcended with 500 SP on the extra stat boost slot, so he's going to be giving out a lot more SP. And my Dark Rukia has low 5 SP on the transcendent slot. So the overall total SP that Nini has now is 5,082. I don't have a Kamari for her, but already the fact that I've hit the 5,000 mark with uh, the actual links and accessories alone is quite remarkable. And with this, her Berserker is now buffed up to 132% while having a reduced draw attack cooldown of 48% and the full stamina damage boost being kept at 25% with an overall insane increase in stats and everything. So yeah, let's see what this bad girl can do. Like she's gonna be doing very, very nutty, nutty, nutty numbers. Okay, here we go. Now let's get into it and yeah, the SA2 does 6k and the SA1, look at that, it's cleaving, like, even though we don't have guard break, like, she's just putting in the actual work, like, she just one-shots every single mob that she lines up with her SA1, and that is insane, like, I slept on this unit for, like, who knows how long, and just now that I got her 5-5, I'm actually enjoying her, like, if you guys love Nini, like, and are a Nini simp like me, like, this is not a character to actually sleep on, despite the fact that she was given a full-on ranged collision hit. Like, she's gonna be very good to use. You can actually clear a hard mode of no affiliation week with her and ranged a rocker week. Like, it's definitely gonna be doable. And, uh, you're just gonna be freaking goaded for her IT because that SA1 is just gonna be doing a crap ton of damage just because of the fact that it's just going to be able to push back a lot and also get all the hits in directly since it is a 40% mag pushback attack and basically does the same damage as the SA3 if not just slightly less which is actually pretty good like she's going to be getting all the hits in just like that and it barely pushes back too so like very good like she's insane would I say she's uh, top five of the tech characters? Honestly, at this point, I'd say, yeah, she's actually still up there. Top five best tech characters that we have in the game to use. Just not better than the likes of, per se, Machine Society, Nemu, or Art Book Ichigo. Like, she unfortunately will not be up there because the kit isn't really the best. But what she does is crazy. It's good. Like, you'll definitely enjoy this character if you like this particular type of playstyle. So yeah, that's Nini. She's basically summed up in a nutshell and 
Yeah, even though I did not get Noel and still got Bruno, I'm so happy I got her match and like I stated earlier in the video, so yeah. Bonus content, let's f***ing go. Now, at the start of the video, I said that I would only do two builds, but I figured that while I was AFK, I figured I may as well record my Ultra Run in IT with Nini. So, um, yeah, the accessories and the links are exactly the same, just that we replaced the bait for a tension tie, so that way we have an easier time at nuking the final room, since you cannot nuke without a tension tie. And even then, if you have a tension tie equipped, on a max transcendent 5 or 5 unit with weakened defense, you will not even be able to one shot the entire room. That's just how hard Ultra IT is. And by the way, yes, this is actual post commentary because, again, I was AFK for when I was actually recording the IT run. So, yeah, with that further said and done, let us go ahead and begin and just show you guys how strong Nini is for when it comes to basically running her in Ultra IT, especially since here we do actually have. A Ronkars as the enemies. And thus the run begins and already her SA1 was doing a good 8k damage. SA2 does help out with pushing back the mobs as well as giving out shields and yeah as you guys can see the damage she is doing is actually quite phenomenal. This is one of the few rare occasions where ranged collision attacks are actually going to be working out a lot more compared to a 3k length beam. Now normally I'm not a massive fan of ranged collision attacks, but this new type of uh, ranged collision 40% mag shave attack really does help out for when it comes to content like this where the enemies have a crap ton of uh, DPS and you can actually push them back to the point that you can basically get all the hits in and basically be able to kill the enemy mobs. And again, Nini has no status elements, so all the damage she is doing is based on raw damage alone and since this was a public room we don't even have on this team any type of unit that can actually inflict a status element like it's only just three ninnies and an actual fierce battle eisen which is going to be very helpful for when it comes to providing more barriers at the end of the day but yeah look at her she's doing a very good job like hey don't sleep on her if you guys do happen to get her 5-5 because she is just that much of a handful of unit to have at the end of the day and I knew that if I was gonna get this character 5-5 I had to max from center eventually and I did it was actually pretty worth it if you guys ask me not just because she is a great link but also because she is a great character at the end of the day besides having full range collision like how do we come from just literally bashing this unit upon the actual uh, leaks from Soldex, where she would just basically get the shaft to just praising her now. It's like basically like how we trashed on 5th anniversary Diakia for when he got first announced, and then when we got our hands on him, he was actually a lot better than we all expected him to be, which is crazy to even think about. Like, look at her, look at her. That being said, the shave 40% mag is never going to be consistent compared to 3k length beams just because of the fact that you won't be able to get the mobs that spawn in after and just basically spawn behind the strong attack so that is basically where i'm gonna draw the line for the strong attack but like as you guys can see again in it it just works like that's all i've got to say that's the best definition to put about it it just freaking works and there we go almost was able to move the entire room it was basically thanks to giving nini weakened defense so that helped out a lot for when it came to nuking the final room and that was Nini in Ultra IT and other than that she did splendidly well. That basically ends my max transcended showcase of Nini overall is she worth going for the 5-5? Uh, I would say still yeah if you really enjoy the character like I stated earlier but that being said she is the best of all the tech or ronker killers that we have in the game right now and you can basically use her just fine for what she is but i don't really recommend going for the 5-5 five five for her since there are a lot better units but if you per se happen to somehow get her 5-5 five five when trying to go for noel or bruno then yeah definitely worth going in to max transcend her and get the work done for her so yeah 
Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have actually enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button, share this video with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already, and hit the bell notification so that way you guys are up to date with my most recent videos. And I'll also have a Max Transcended uh, Christmas Momo showcase coming up. Not T15 or T20 because I don't plan to do that, but it'll still happen regardless. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. This has been your buddy Death Smasher. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace out, loud.